Hey, I'm Jemuel Morris, and this is our at-home pickleball drills and workout series. Today, we're doing a workout. Don't worry, it's only five minutes, and it's as pickleball-esque as we can make it. We don't need any weights, we don't need any bands, just our body weight, our paddle, and we're good to go. Let's get started. Okay, so I will be going through the entire workout just in case you want to follow along at home. Uh, so this can be done anywhere. I'm just doing it outside because it's a nice day and I love the fresh air. Um, but you can do this in the home. Just clear out a little space where you can move from about here to about here. That's all we'll need. Uh, so what are the muscles we're using in pickleball? We're using our legs, our glutes, core, shoulder, right? So we've incorporated that into this workout. Uh, we've also incorporated in some shadow swings, which are really important to keep doing while we're off the courts. Swinging that paddle and making sure our form is right. Uh, we're also going to get into some body position, all right, to reinforce those, those positions that we want every time we're striking the ball. So for this first exercise, we're just going to pretend that we're standing at the kitchen line and that we're going to take volleys out of the air, okay? So we're going to lunge from side to side. We're going to go five on each side. It'll look something like this. So I'm here and swinging, taking a volley. I'm here, taking the volley. And I'm not taking a big back swing, okay? I'm meeting the ball out in front of me and here and here. All right, so let's start. Five each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, remember, I'm set before I swing. So I'm here, swing, and then back over, swing. We're gonna do that same thing except we're taking a dink. We're still gonna slide laterally and lunge laterally, okay? So we're here, lunge, dink, 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 dink. Look at that, follow through, it's not too much, and I'm meeting that ball out in front of me. Not a big backswing here. And back, great. Okay, number three. Now we're gonna step into the kitchen, so we're lunging forward and dinking the ball. So we're here, and we're gonna come back to center. We're gonna come forward, dink, and back. Forward and back. Back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. The next one we're going to be stepping back. So, this is in case somebody's pushed us off the line a little bit and we need to get back. So, when we do this, it's really important that we don't swing as we're going backward, okay? We're here, we step back, and we swing and our momentum brings us forward, okay? So, really important to reinforce that good body position on every single shot. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. I want my body position to be the same on all of these shots. Even if I have to take two steps back, I want that to be the same. And one more. And good. Okay, that completes that section. Now we're gonna work on some foot speed and agility. So in this one, we're going to be jogging in place, stepping forward, to the side, to the back, okay? We'll do five of those on each side. We wanna speed it up if we can. Good. Now the other side, same thing. We're gonna go forward, side, back. The last one, last drill we're gonna do is a hand speed drill. 
Now who doesn't want faster hands up at the kitchen? So we're gonna go to get in the plank position, just like this. And all we're gonna do is move our hands to the inside and then to the outside. So it'll look like this, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. We try and do that as fast as we can without hurting ourselves. Okay, if that's too hard, because that is pretty hard, we can grab a uh, cushion for the knees, get into a half push-up position, do the same thing. This is also working our core and our shoulders. Now, if that's too hard, we can just get onto all fours, even lean back a little bit and do the same thing. So we'll go in, in, out, out. Just placing those hands. Whew. All right, and that's it, we're done. Way to go. So if one set's a little bit too easy, do two sets, do three sets. But I love this for a lot of reasons. One, it's going to keep our muscle memory going. So we're doing the same actions that we do out on the pickleball court until we can get back out there. And two, it's gonna minimize injuries uh, when we do get back out on the court because we'll be utilizing all those muscles that we're using in pickleball. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.